Time to play basketball, so we're going to draw the backboard and the basketball hoop. Ready? Lots of parallel lines. We're going to start with this line across the top of our page, and we're going to go down this side, down the right side. Now, parallel line. We're going to do the same line, but going across. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Don't get too worried about it. Down this side. Okay. Now, for the bottom, I'm going to switch to a pencil because I got some overlapping and I want to be able to do some erasing. So I'm going to put my guideline for, there's my bottom, there's my other bottom line. But now I'm going to switch back to my Sharpie and I'm going to put in the rim of the hoop, okay? So there it is. It's going to go same thing. Look at that long kind of rectangle shape, parallel lines. Now my net, now I'm making my net have some movement to it. So I got some curved lines. And when I put my lines in it, I'm gonna have some curves. There, because we've got some movement happening. We just uh, scored, I was gonna say scored a goal, made a basket. <laughs> there we go. Now, since that's in, we can go back now and we're gonna put in those lines on the side. Now, technically we could see through the net, but I want this to be a little easier to read. There. Now, our guy has some curves at the bottom because there's some motion happening, but we need that little square at the top, which helps us focus. Where do I shoot that ball? What does it need to bounce off of in order to land in the net. And we followed that same thing, these straight lines and parallel lines inside. And there we have our basketball hoop. But you know what? Let's add some color to him. Ready? Go! Ta-da!